Daily Devotional for Thursday, January 20th. Today's scripture reading will be Matthew 6, verses 5 through 8. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathens do, for they think that they will be heard for the many words. Therefore, do not be like them, for your Father knows the things that you have need of before you ask him. Isn't that neat? God already knows what we need. And that's why it's important to go into the secret place. There's one verse here that says, you know, that you shouldn't be on the street corner. Now, I know there's a lot of street evangelism, and I think that is necessary. I don't think that's what he's referring to here, but I do think street evangelism is still very effective. But again, like in yesterday's reading, I believe the Lord's really talking about humility and having that place with the Lord, not looking for men's rep recognition, but looking to the Father, becoming one with Him, one in uh, heart and spirit with Him. When you go into the secret place with the Lord, it's only you and Him. I don't even, a lot of times I don't speak out loud I speak spirit to spirit. He already knows what I need. I like to bring my uh, petition to the Lord and then wait to see what he will answer and then release that word. And then it shall be as <clears throat> he has already declared. He declares and I decree. He knows our needs. Oftentimes we will be seeking words for other people. And it isn't necessary to boast about our prayer life. You know, I remember being in, in a, um, what we call it, a kinship, and the one man, you know, it was a home group, the one man, he would pray, oh my goodness, I was just in awe of the big words that he used. And, and after the, session I said to the home group leader I said I wish I could pray like him and the man told me he said he uses flowery words so everybody is in awe of his words he said you speak from the heart that's the thing he may speak 24 sentences and I may speak too we want the heart of God I, I'm not saying I've got it all together. I'm learning every day. But go into that secret place with the Lord. Hear his heart. Just rest in him. Hear his desire for you and for others. And then release it. It isn't important to toot our horn. It's important to hear and obey. So till next time, see, we're learning how not to be a hypocrite. Till next time, be blessed.